It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first week of December, so November 30th through December 5th, okay? So this is going to be for you and the other person, but keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. We're just going to see what comes up for Cancer. What do we have for Cancer for the first week? November 30th through December 5th. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For them and the other person. Nine of Wands. Page of Swords. Three of Cups reversed. So, that is being guarded, wounded. We have a wounded warrior here. Somebody that has been hurt very, very badly. Receiving some sort of information, a message or communication from somebody that may have hurt them. Uh, there could have been a third party situation. Somebody may have cheated. They may have accused somebody of cheating. Um, there is some sort of lack of emotional growth or sadness. There's parting ways. You may have parted ways with somebody who may be communicating with you now. There could be some sort of conflict that is coming in. There's definitely a guarded feeling, wounded feeling, weary. You may be feeling like you need to put your guard up. You may be still hot over a situation. Maybe, you know, you want to protect yourself, feeling like you need to protect yourself. I definitely feel like you are receiving some sort of communication from somebody that, you know, you may have separated with or may have hurt you. Um, five of Cups reversed. Somebody may be wanting to come back. They may intend on coming back. There could be a reunion here. I'm not sure. But whoever you're dealing with um, may want some sort of forgiveness. I feel like, like there's some sort of deep connection here. Could be dealing with somebody that has a lot of Capricorn in their chart. Could be a Capricorn. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Whoever this person is, I feel like there's been some pain in the past. And I feel like they want a reunion. Um, there is potential for a reunion here. I feel like there's a deep connection, a definitely a deep sexual connection with this person, some sort of bond. Um, could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this person is very jealous. They're very suspicious. They're very possessive, whoever you're dealing with. Uh, this person... Um, is very laid back, very carefree, maybe obsessive. Uh, so yeah, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that may be obsessive. They may be obsessive towards you. They may um, have some sort of insecurity issues. I think whoever you're dealing with is uh, very attractive. You're very attracted to this person. I feel like um, there's some sort of bond between the two of you. I think that it's a strong, strong bond. Um, but I feel like there's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of hurt. There's been some sort of deception here. Maybe a third party got involved in that. That really hurt. I feel like you have your guard up towards this person. But this person may be, uh, you know, trying to lure you in in some way, you know. And I think that you're very tempted to go towards this person because the connection is so strong, you know. But I feel like you've been wounded. You've been hurt very bad. This person has probably said some things that aren't very nice, but not, aren't not very practical. And I feel like you're, you know, you may have parted ways. And you may have parted ways. And now this person is trying to communicate, um... Nine of Wands. There's great fear here. I feel like um, you're on the edge and you're guarded. You're really, really guarded. I feel like you have a lot of doubt and your fear about whether this person is being honest with you or whether they're going to hurt you again or something like that. There may even be some hard feelings here. I do see great personal fear. I think that you're trying to avoid this person because... You know, there's been some sort of pain in the past, and you know the connection is so strong. So, yeah, there's definitely a very, very strong connection here with you and another person. Um, somebody may be offering an apology. Um, this is probably meant to be. Um, there is some, with the Wheel of Fortune, that is a positive change. That is a feeling of destiny. It is. It could be destiny calling. Um, this is destined. It's a destined... Um, Well, it looks like it's an offer or invite or something. 
with that Knight of Pentacles right above it. You know, this is you, them, and the overall energy. So this is destiny. It's meant to be. There's been a break. Somebody's been taking a break. They've been reflecting. They've been uh, isolating themselves. They've been going through some sort of transformation, I believe. Maybe it's this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know doesn't have to be whoever you're dealing with has been alone they've been alone look at the cobwebs they've been alone for a while they've been they've been taking a break maybe they've been taking a break from um maybe they've been thinking a lot going through i feel like it's going through some sort of inner transformation you know they've been hurt with it because if you think about the three of so the four of swords it comes before it is the three of swords somebody has been hurt really really badly and i think that they are getting some sort of new perspective my advice to you is to think about it. Give it time. Think about this. Uh, sleep on it. You know, sleep on this and take take your time making a decision. But your future together looks like it could be stable. Take your time. Like I said, one day at a time. Uh, I would my my advice would be to go ahead to give it a whirl, to give it a try, to give it a shot, you know. I feel like this there is a golden opportunity to lay a new foundation, to build a strong foundation if you believe in destiny, if you want to put in effort, if it if you want to give it a whirl, if you want to give it a try. I I feel like whoever you are dealing with um is being real. They are being very real with you. They have real solid intentions of building with you they do so whoever this person is but i feel like you have your guard up and i think that you have been wounded so badly that you are fearful you are fearful of being cheated on you're fearful of being deceived you're fearful of friends getting in the way uh you're fearful of of uh you know being disgraced being embarrassed I feel like this is somebody that you already know. I, I do. There, it could be somebody new. It absolutely could be. It could be somebody brand new extending an offer or an invite to you. But I see you being extremely guarded, you know, unsure. But I do see a strong sexual connection between you and this person. I feel like this is destiny. I feel like it's meant to be. I feel like you're be, you may have been at the right place at the right time that you know, has brought you two together for a reason and you may have to, you know, fight some demons together. Maybe you need, maybe you were brought together to learn lessons together, you know, um, and I do think that is the case. Um, I feel like you, you know, somebody's, somebody here is, is fed up. They're fed up. They're exhausted. They're tired. They're lonely, and they've been hurt, and they've given up. They've given up on love, and I, or they've given up on even trying. And I feel like they've given up on trying because they've been hurt so badly. But this is a, this is a deep, deep, deep connection that could grow. It could grow if you put in effort. Um, I, you know, for some of you with the five of cups reverse, it could be a reunion. It could be a re -re reunion. Could be there could be an apology here. Somebody may be apologizing. Maybe you both apologize um, with that Knight of Pentacles as well. I think somebody's integrity has been tested as well. I feel like there's a real, genuine, solid offer that is coming that will take time. It will take time to grow, but it will grow. It will last. It can last. It can really, really, really last. Um, now, this is about letting bygones be bygones maybe you're dealing with somebody who is ready who wants to let bygones be bygones um this person has been in some sort of deep depression and now they just want to focus on the future um forgiveness forgiveness i feel like somebody is asking for forgiveness and you may want to give them a chance you know um i do see a deep connection here whoever you're dealing with um you are meant to perhaps this person now the ten of the wheel of fortune is 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 a very fortunate event right it's a very positive change in the right direction so i think that whoever you're you're asking about i think things are going to get better things are going to get better and better and better and better if you are able to um take your time 
one day at a time. That's that's a big message here. One day at a time. Um, I think that you two were brought together because you have previous previous lessons or you have some lessons to learn. You need lessons to learn. This one's all about money. This one's about eating. So it's interesting. We have money and we have eating or food or something like that. Tempted. But there's there's an opportunity to work together here. Um, so yeah, I think that you're going to be getting some messages or you may be messaging somebody or somebody may be messaging you and it's going to bring you some sort of conflict. I feel like you're going to Somebody's been, or you've been watching somebody, and maybe when you watch somebody, it sends that message out to the universe. So if you check their Facebook page or whatever, if you're stalking them, you are telling the universe that you're not over them. You're telling the universe, you know, that you want them. And I think that's what we have here. I think that's what we have here. It's like you've manifested something because that there's manifestation in that in that Knight of Pentacles hands. That the that that is the. Uh, the, the Ace of Pentacles is manifestation. So I feel like you have manifested something very, very positive, a positive new beginning. But you have to be willing to see it. You know, you have to see it from a new perspective. Try to let go of your pain. Try to let go of your per your hurt. Maybe forgiveness is needed. So I think there is an opportunity for, for forgiveness and for two people to come together. And maybe it's just forgiveness of your past. You know, so that you can unite with somebody. Maybe it's somebody new. There is an offer that is coming in for you. This is something that could lead to long-term stability. It's a very fortunate uh, offer, okay, with that Wheel of Fortune. It's good luck, okay? It can help you to heal. It can help you to heal. So there's, there's healing here. Whoever you are dealing, that you were dealing with, or that you are dealing with, I feel like you've been in some sort of toxic situation that was based on money, okay? You are dealing with somebody that was very selfish, very, very greedy. Maybe you've let that person go or that person has let you go or something like that. There's some sort of separation here, there is, that allows you to go after something better as well. Um, there is a new opportunity for love that is going to be presented to you and I think that you should take it. This could be with somebody that you already know. It could be with somebody new. But expect to receive some communication from... I feel like it's somebody that you are meant to be with. That you have some lessons to learn with this person. Um, this person has been with somebody that is very possessive. Very, very jealous. There's a very jealous, possessive individual here that has probably taught somebody a lesson. Um, anyhow... Good luck, Cancer.